here's a look at the antenna uh, I want to show you how to make in this video and I also wanted to do a comparison to the uh, coat hanger design uh, notice that I'm using copper wire and I have PVC standoffs on my antenna and the reason for that is that the um, if you mount directly on wood you'll uh, you'll lose efficiency from the antenna uh, mounting on plastic is really far better than putting it on wood uh, and there are other important differences as well those phase lines are closer together and the uh, the elements of the whiskers are 10 inches long which is a lot longer than the YouTube one and uh, the spacing between the elements is uh, quite, a, quite a bit different as well here are the plans for making the antenna uh, get a uh, 34 inch length of uh, 1 by 3 inch lumber uh, there's a one and a quarter inch spacing between those phase lines and nine and a half inch spacing between the elements. Uh, the balin goes halfway between the centermost two uh, element mounts and that's at four and three quarter inches. Uh, there's about a five and a quarter inch spread on the whiskers. Here are the tools you'll need to make this design. A fine tooth saw like that miter box saw. Uh, those are really good for cutting PVC. Uh, you'll need 180 grit sandpaper to deburr the PVC after it's cut. Uh, then of course you'll need uh, pliers and wire cutters. And um, you need a, uh, a power drill with a 564th inch drill bit. Uh, that uh, carpenter square is useful but it's not critical. Uh, then you need a Phillips screwdriver, uh, a pencil, and a tape measure, and uh, finally you also need uh, a file to make notches on your um, PVC standoffs. These PVC standoffs are an important part of this design. Uh, you'll need five of them. And uh, notice that the, uh, they're notched and that the holes are drilled to the outside of those notches. Uh, they're uh, also drilled all the way through and uh, these will keep the uh, phase lines and whiskers away from the wood which is important. Cut five two and three eighths inches of PVC. Then you want to deburr them using your sandpaper. Uh, a finer grid is a little bit better. Uh, rougher doesn't work so well for this. About a 180 or 200 grit sandpaper ought to do it. Uh, next, we want to uh, mark and measure the PVC for the. Uh, for the phase lines. Um, now I like to put a line on it and then uh, mark it. It's easier to find the top if you put a line on it. And uh, I made that tool with uh, all my measurements on it. Uh, I find it makes it easier. If you make one, uh, I think you will too. Uh, then you want to file the PVC uh, for the phase lines. You want to make those those notches deep enough to hold that uh, your uh, your wire but not so deep that you don't get a good connection once you get your PVC notched you want to move uh, one piece at a time onto the one of the lines on your board and then drill the holes uh, you don't want to go too deep with those holes uh. the next thing to do is to screw your uh, standoffs into place uh, use uh, one and a half or maybe one and three quarter inch number eight Phillips uh, screws. I like pan head ones. They, they work a little bit better uh, and washers and and you want to leave the uh, leave it a little loose. The next thing to do is to uh,
mount your phase lines on that on your standoffs. Uh, you want to cut those uh, phase lines a little bit long, about 34 inches, so you'll have enough room. Check on both ends to make sure that they're hanging over the edge. Uh, then start in the center and uh, connect them one by one. The uh, the middlemost three. You want to leave the outer ones unconnected for now. At first glance, this next part seems like it might be a little bit tricky, but it really isn't. Uh, take a piece of uh, PVC and put it between your, uh, your phase lines, then cross them over and connect them on the outer two standoffs. Uh, the idea here is you're trying to maintain one and a quarter inch spacing throughout the whole antenna. It won't be perfect, but um, just do the best you can with it, and I'm sure it'll be fine. The next step is to uh, connect your whiskers. Now each each whisker each uh, whisker is made from a 20 inch length uh, piece of wire that's bent in half and I cut them a little long and then trim them so that I know that they uniformly uh, 10 inches long when I'm finished. Uh, and you know once you have your balin or uh, transformer connected uh, you'll be finished and ready to hook it up. Uh, here's the antenna all ready to go. Now, um, if you uh, were to paint it, it would look a little better. Uh, now, I don't think it looks so bad. I, I hang mine on my wall. Uh, also, uh, I want to mention that a reflector will really help uh, dramatically increase signal strength. So, if you live far out, uh, you may want to put one of the uh, reflector on it. Uh, it should be the proper size. If people like this uh, video, I may do uh, a video on that. And uh, also, uh, if people like this one, I may do a, a comparison between this and the YouTube design. Uh, you got to let me know, and we'll see how it works.